The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know him? Listen to this devotional. That I may know him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Count the cost. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8, verses 35 through 37. The Lord Jesus lifts up his voice to break the spell of infatuation upon human minds and asks the momentous question, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Disease and death are in our world, and how little we know when our individual probation shall end. How many, if now called to render up their accounts, would do it with grief, regret, and remorse that their God-given probationary time was so fully employed in self-serving? The eternal interests of the soul have been fearfully neglected for unimportant affairs. The mind is kept busy, just as Satan designs it shall be, with selfish interests and nothing of any consequence, and the time may be passing into eternity without it fitting up for heaven at all. What can be compared with the loss of a human soul? It is a question which every soul must determine for himself whether to gain the treasures of eternal life or to lose all because of his neglect to make God and his righteousness his first and only business. Jesus, the world's Redeemer, looks with grief upon the large number of those who profess to be Christians who are not serving Him, but themselves. They scarcely think of eternal realities, notwithstanding He calls their attention to the rich reward, awaiting the faithful who will serve Him with their undivided affections. He brings eternal realities within range of their vision. He bids them to count the cost now of being an obedient and faithful follower of Christ and says, Ye cannot serve God and mammon. He would have every individual sense his responsibility to so use his precious time here in this world that it will be fruitful daily in good works. This is the only worthy aim of every living mortal, to employ his God-given faculties with endless results in view.